prices going up, quality coming down. Isn't it great to be a UK medical patient? So in today's video, I wanted to touch upon this email that some of you may have got a couple of weeks ago. Now, I know that this email also does not affect every patient, probably a majority of patients, being that most of us don't touch Cure Relief products anyway. But there was one product that I used to get pretty much every prescription, and yes, used to, past tense, and that was Tripoli. In the email, you could quite clearly see the prices had gone up 40p per gram. So my Tripoli used to cost £5.50 a gram, so 55 for 10 grams, has now gone up to £59 for 10 grams. Yep, that's a £4 increase. It's not a huge increase, but let's say that I got 30 grams of Tripoli. Well, now you're looking at a £12 increase, so it gets a little bit more unbearable in this current situation that we find ourselves in with this huge cost of living crisis. So I really wanted to touch upon this um, and just kind of talk about it, get your opinion on this, um, because I don't see the quality going up, right? Like the Tripoli that I get, the quality hasn't gone up each batch that I've got. So why are you raising the prices? Why is this? If the quality was actually going up and we could see that it was being cured better, it was being shipped over quicker, we had a fresher flower, I would actually not mind paying the extra amount because I already like what I have now. So if you're going to make it better, I'll pay for it to be better. But I don't think that's the case. I'm not sure why they've raised their prices, but they have. So one of my questions was, I used to get Tripoli on my prescription and now I don't because of the price increase. Is there any patient out there who now does not get their certain cure relief flower on their prescription anymore because of that price increase? I'd be really interested to see how many people have categorically said, no, I can't do it and decided to go with something completely different down the line that's about around the same price that they used to pay for and is the same quality, if not better. I'd also like to know what you guys think should be the overall kind of minimum, maximum you would pay per gram. Because we all know that all of our flour comes at completely different prices. The price range is unacceptable if I'm going to be honest like I don't understand how you can go from like £3.95 all the way up to what £13.50 some of them maybe even more I don't know but in the past I've seen it go all the way up to there does the quality account for that and if so are they going to raise their prices if the quality gets higher than they already have right now I don't know. I don't know, right? I really don't know. But I also wanted to touch upon Drew's new video about spending £10 or €10, Euro, sorry, in Amsterdam. And what can you get, right? What can you get? So this was really interesting because I haven't personally been to Amsterdam since 2016, I believe. I think that was the last time that I went to Amsterdam. And so it's interesting to see that the prices have changed dramatically. In Drew's video, he mentions that most people went at him when he said that £15 a gram was actually the cheapest kind of cheaper option. Um, he mentioned that everybody in the comments was like, £15 not cheap, £15 not cheap. And I sat there before he even said that. <laughs> before he even said that. And I was like, fucking £15, what the fuck? And then obviously he went on to say, like, you aren't going to get anything for £10 a gram now. And so I was like, hey, yo, what? Because when I went there in 2016, you could get a majority of weed that was £10 a gram. You'd have the, uh, you know, the odd 13, 14, maximum was going up to like 16, 17, but you wouldn't really see that that often. So 
seeing this now and how they've raised their prices, is this what we have got to look forward to? I don't know, but I was really shocked because, like I say, I haven't been back to Amsterdam. I don't think I will go back either, to tell you the truth. That was the last time I went. I didn't really like it when I went back. It's changed a lot, and it's changed a lot since then. So I'm not going back there, but I will be going back to Thailand. So we're going to flip the script a little bit and talk about Thailand. Now, I went in February this year. So very, very recent. And this was while the laws were very, very up in air, shall we say. Uh, because if you're not familiar with the Thai flower laws, what happened was um, a while back, they basically made it legal but it was legal for medicinal purposes, but there was nothing actually written into law. So was, there was this huge gray area. And what happened overnight was <laughs> literally <laughs> weed shops everywhere, dispensaries everywhere, right? Farmers growing it everywhere. Like it fucking exploded. Also, I believe the government gave out like a, a million weed plants. I believe I remember seeing it somewhere like it was spread out. People were going on about it and there was just weed plants being given to Thai locals. And the whole point of it was to help them with the economy. Right. So they could make edibles out of it. They could make whatever and sell it. But the Thai government didn't take into consideration what would happen. So when I went to Thailand in February this year, every street corner was a dispensary every day. multiple right multiple better than amsterdam much better than amsterdam right because thailand's just a better country anyway personally in my opinion you've got the heat you've got the people you've got the food you've got everything so seeing the prices in thailand compared to amsterdam in drew's new video the weed that you're getting in thailand is not going to be the same as Amsterdam, but you are going to be paying the same price as Amsterdam. And that is just a fact, right? So I remember I paid £14 for 3.5 grams of amnesia haze. Now, it was fucking lovely. Do not get me wrong, right? I still have the little pot where it come from, cloud nine, right? And it was banging. But had I have spent £40 in Amsterdam... I probably could have got something even better. Prices differ so much, and I don't know what that comes down to, so I don't know the future of the UK medical price. And that's a little bit worrying. So just to jump back again, what would you rather do? Would you rather pay the sort of prices that you're seeing in Amsterdam per gram on UK medical, or would you rather have less quality for a mediocre price like £10 a gram? Because I honestly don't know. I, I honestly don't know. And I think that might come down to the fact that we haven't had Amsterdam quality in our UK medical, right? So we cannot put that price on it. Like, unless we're given fucking, like, I don't know what I would prefer. Like, at this stage, I need to save money, which is why Curaleaf can fuck off. I'm not getting your Tripoli anymore, which is a shame. But never mind, we'll move on. So I don't know how many times we're going to see a price increase because surely it should be going down. The more clinics that open up, the more demand that comes in, the free market goes down with it. So. What's happened here? People have to choose between getting their medicine or putting food on the table, which is scary, like terrifying, really. You know, I could go into an, a whole video about the state of the UK and that's not even just the medical scene. You know, the medical scene is gonna be one of the last things that they sort out in this country. So, I don't know. I don't know what future we have. I really don't. I, I genuinely really hope that things pick up. I really do. But I'm not seeing anything 
that's positive, unless you guys can, like, sound off in the comments and be like, yo, da 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 But, like, you know, there's not many UK growing facilities. It all comes from overseas. It's all old. It's not fresh. But they're putting the price up. If you're still with me, then I have a little surprise for you. On my last podcast episode with Kieran, we had Sarah that was featured. And Sarah has created this cool little uh, product that she sells. It's called Port AVB. Um, and this is for putting your AVB in, which is already vaped bud, right? Um, so after you have vaped, when you get all the brown little shitty AVB, basically, um, this is a pot... I'll show you the, the little pot here. This is a pot that you use with your vape, basically. Um, it's got a little magnet here, which is super, super handy for my Dynavap, uh, considering it is the exact same size, so I can just pop it on the top there, and it will stay there magnetic. You know, you can use it whenever you want. Anyway, I digress. AVB. So this cute little pot here, this comes off at the bottom, and it houses your little pointy stick to get it out of your bowl right so this comes out and this is a cool little pot that she sells this is her company avb this is what it what it looks like and i have two of these available which i will be giving away so thank you very very much to sarah for giving me these two there is a black one and there is a green one i believe this is green yep this is a green one so we have a black and a green um, so thank you, Sarah. And um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do two giveaways, one for members and one for anybody that's listening to me. So if you would like to be in with a chance to win one of these, then head to the link in the description where there is a Google form document thing that you can fill out. And I think I'll give it a week. Uh, and then what I'll do is I will put all of the names that I have into one of them like little spinning picker wheel things i will record it for you guys i will put, do it live recording so you can see who wins and then after that i will contact the winner to let them know where this is to be sent to and if you are a member then you will get to choose whether you want the black or the green thank you for listening to me bit of a ramble there about the prices but you know i just thought it was important that we find out whether patients have decided to not get the same strain that they were getting before because of the price increase right or are they happy to get the same strain because it helps them so much but they now have to get less food on the table right so just i don't know let me know let me know it's great it's, it's great to hear from you guys and find out you know what the community is saying about this Look after yourselves, look after each other, and I will see you next week. And I'm thankful, and I'm thankful for the fans that love the listeners. Yeah, and I'm thankful, and I'm thankful, even for the ones that don't believe in us.